court will be back in session today for former President Donald Trump at his hush money trial, where he is facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Yesterday, in a separate case, a federal judge upheld E. Jean Carroll's $83 million defamation verdict against Trump. And in Washington, D.C., the U.S. Supreme Court heard three hours of arguments about Trump's claim of absolute immunity. Lawyers for special counsel Jack Smith argued no president is above the law. There is new reaction and questions after a New York appeals court overturned the 2020 rape conviction of former Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein. The appeals court says the judge who oversaw the trial committed egregious errors, unfairly allowing testimony based on prior allegations against Weinstein that were not part of the case. The court that overturned the conviction has ordered a new trial. Weinstein remains behind bars as the appeal moves forward. Some of the protests of the Israel-Hamas war on college campuses across the country turned violent. In Atlanta, a state trooper repeatedly tasing a man at Emory University. At Ohio State University, police in riot gear approached hundreds of protesters, some of them fighting with officers. More than 400 people were detained on dozens of campuses, including here in Texas, as pro-Palestinian protesters demand schools stop working with companies that profit from ties to Israel. USC has since canceled their main graduation ceremony due to the protests. TikTok's Chinese parent company said it won't sell the social media platform as a United States ban looms. This is the first official response from the Beijing-based company on the issue since President Joe Biden signed a bill that could lead to a nationwide ban. Under the current U.S. law, TikTok is now forced to find a new owner within months or be banned from the United States entirely. TikTok CEO said the company would fight in the courts to stay online in the U.S. So far, a number of countries have banned officials from downloading TikTok on their phones, but the U.S. law is one of the most sweeping measures taken so far. Southwest Airlines closing operations at four airports because of delays with Boeing jet deliveries. The airline will no longer serve Bellingham International Airport in Washington State, Cozumel International in Mexico, and Syracuse Hancock International in New York. While service to Houston's George Bush Intercontinental Airport will also be suspended, the airline will continue to serve the city's older, smaller hobby airport. Southwest said it had to address the operational and financial impacts of Boeing's manufacturing delays. According to the National Retail Federation, consumers are expected to spend a near record $33.5 billion this Mother's Day. This year's expected spending falls just short of last year's record of $35.7 billion. The largest spending amount will go towards jewelry, special outings, electronics, and flowers. The average sum a person is expected to spend will be a little over $250. The biggest spenders are expected to be between 35 and 44 years old. We may not be close to summer yet, but Home Depot is looking to scare up some sales for Halloween. Marking six months until the holiday and showing up in stores now, some of Home Depot's favorite Halloween decorations, including a 12-foot skeleton and his 7-foot skeleton dog. Adobe has unveiled an experimental artificial intelligence feature to sharpen videos and pictures. Adobe says it can sharpen blurry videos at up to eight times their original resolution, although there's no guarantee the feature will ever be offered to consumers. NASA released this image to celebrate the 34th anniversary of the Space Observatory's launch on April 24, 1990. Captured by the Hubble telescope, the portrait may also include evidence that the star gobbled up another star before it collapsed. To date, the telescope has made 1.6 million observations. Astronomers around the world rely on Hubble and its growing database to make new discoveries. And that's today's Nine at Nine.